Well, what is the mood of the nation at the moment? Every two months, Newgate conducts a poll and it's called just that, the mood of the nation. And there is some data to suggest that the concern over cost of living may have peaked. Joining me live now to discuss this is David Stolper. He is from Newgate and he joins me here in the studio. Great to see you. Uh, so we are all still concerned about mm. cost of living, but in a hierarchy of concerns, you think perhaps the worst of it is over. That's right. So cost of living still remains by far the most concerning issues to Australians. Mm. But for the first time in our, st in our study, we've actually seen the level of concern drop by about 6%, which is encouraging. Yeah, OK, certainly. And probably in line with inflation moderating a bit too, right? That's right. So inflation is moderating. Interest rates have been on hold for a little bit longer. Um, that's easing those kind of concerns. OK, what about the expectation of what the RBA might do? Because economists are now mm. uh, saying there's a very small chance that they'll go up next month. What are people feeling about that? So people are actually a little bit more anxious. We were just in field last week. We actually had 49% of Australians who think that they'll still raise interest rates. Um, the rest thinking they'll be keeping it on hold. Uh, almost nobody is saying that they'll be reduced. <laughs> but, um, yeah, people are more pessimistic than the money markets and the economic pundits. It seems that people are pretty pessimistic about the role of government yes. uh, in their lives at the moment. We had COVID where government was, you know, looming large over our lives. That's not so much now, but they're still pretty dissatisfied with politicians as a whole, are they? Yeah, that's right. So we've seen perceived performance of all governments across Australia for this two months, and they also all fell the two months preceding that. Mm. Right. What about corporate Australia? Any joy there? Co no, corporate Australia is on the nose a bit. So only 21% of Australians agree that they're behaving ethically and doing the right thing. Um, the proportion that are disagreeing with that sentiment has actually risen by about 7% over the last few months. So I think that's amidst, um, you know, record profits, you know, other scandals yeah. and things going on, you know, it is on the nose a little bit. And I guess when it comes to governments, the housing supply issue, the rental crisis, yes. is this the thing that's feeding into that the most, that sentiment? I think that's right. I think the rental crisis, um, especially in regional areas, is still incredibly a huge problem for people. Um, cost of living, I think it's just reflecting on the tightening of financial budgets and the way people are feeling about their own situation. Mm. We are kind of dominated and we're about to be over the next six weeks in particular about conversations around the voice to parliament. We are having the first, uh, well, six million people will be voting in a referendum mm -hmm. for the first time in their lives. It hasn't happened since the Republic referendum and, of course, a lot more people have come of age since then. Yes. What is the feeling around that and what are you actually asking people when it comes to the voice and their feelings? So there's a couple of questions that we ask. Um, certainly we ask people how they intend to vote. Mm. And in line with most of the other published polls, we're finding that 54% of people are saying they would vote no, 46% saying they would vote yes. Um, so not fantastic numbers for the yes campaign. I'm only seeing a clear majority in Victoria. Um, but we're also, what we're also finding is that um, those who say that they're going to vote yes are also more likely to say they'll actually turn out and vote. Um, so what we think is that the result might actually be tighter than that. Um, and, right. and um, you know, the, the official campaign has only just launched. So, so there's still the a way no, to go. So you think there's more apathy in the no camp, therefore they won't turn out to vote? That's exactly what we're saying. So right. we think it's going to be a bit tighter than what the numbers suggest. Mm. And certainly there's still a good chance for the Yes campaign to succeed. Is there what has been termed for a long time the Bradley effect, and I call it the Trump effect, you know, in polite conversation, yes. uh, people will say that they're voting yes or they're undecided, but secretly when they get into the ballot box, they'll vote no. Yeah. Can you, can you pick... I mean, it's hard to pick it's up. It's a good polling. point. I think it's less of an issue with an anonymous online survey like this one. It yeah. can be an issue when you're getting uh, called up over the phone from somebody. So I don't think that's a big factor, but I think um, voter turnout might play into it. OK, David, fascinating to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you.